Yes, it all does fit. I'll do it in stages and I'll show you bits and pieces as I go. In preparation for my next trip to Cattle from Coral Bay to Exmouth, I thought I'd better try and pack everything in to see where it's going to go and how it's all going to fit. This is the kayak, it's a Lapman Magellan, 18 foot long. As you can see, there's uh, spaces and there's stuff everywhere. Because if by magic all this stuff does fit in. I've got 48 bottles of water, which is 29 litres. Five days should be enough. Pick on the small bit on the 600 ml bottles because they're easier to pack. Water gets placed in the hole, slid up inside of it. Most of these bottles will actually go inside the hole. And that fitting in everything in the way of anything else. Just stack them up. the water done, all the food stacked back here, tin food for now, easy to cook. Got to have baked beans. Parts of the packing will probably get changed as time goes by. Jet ball, greatest thing going. Also, got a small pot, cook my fish. There's a spare stove in there. Frying pan, bowl, and spork. All you need to cook on. Very important item. When you, if you like good coffee, take it with you. My little Vietnamese coffee pot and uh, coffee maker is fantastic. Wouldn't go anywhere without it. Sausage bag, that can go in there. And Got some spare jet ball cartridges. These will go in a waterproof bag later on. Just so I can, just, this is just so I can show you where things go. Okay, that's that patch patch. We'll move down to the next one. Let's go to the middle, shall we? Okay, the middle hatch. This is the one easy access, doesn't paddle on, gets stuff. But I've actually got 15 bottles of water in there. So that'll keep me going for a while. It's, uh, as I go along, I'll just each night I'll put stuff in here that I need each day. We also carry the power monkey, charge up the cameras and the bat and everything else, anything else. Radio, in case if I have a problem. Paddle, float. You never know when you need one of them. The flares, we are going to be going offshore, so we've got to carry the flares. Keeps everybody happy. And you just never know if you ever want them. Tech towel, got to keep yourself dry. We have a light, we'll keep that handy, so if we pull up late at night, at least we know exactly where the light is. Also, headlight and torch, easy access. We'll move along to the back hatch next. Oops. That's it, the back hatch, water bottles get stacked in exactly the same as the front. Got plenty of spares on hand, these are just the uh, ones for guys later on. And I just pull them out as I need to stack them up the front hatch. Okay, in the back, my tent, Eureka Solo, little one-man tent. Simple five-minute job to put up. That will go in a waterproof bag as well later. Along with a mattress, self plating my sleeping bag, just in case it gets cool. Oops, don't forget the pillow, could have a good night's rest. We'll also put some fishing gear back here. Gotta have the mask and snorkel. Also carry like you said, GPS, just in case. Hopefully never use it. Shouldn't be a problem where I'm going. As you can see, most of the gear is in the tent, is in the uh, kayak. My big Pantax stays at hand with me, in case I need it. I have snack bars, daily use. Plus a bit of an old energy drink to keep that at hand. And uh, whatever else is there, Get strapped on, so I'll shade them in a little while. Okay, as you see, everything's strapped on. Don't forget, zinc cream, lip cream, first aid kit. They all go close at hand. Gloves, 
That's a spare pair. Hat going for hat kits on off me. The shark seal gets tied off onto the side, curled up on deck if needed, over the side. Paddles strapped on the back, they won't go anywhere. Always have a spare. Most of all, I have a fishing rod hanging on. Look, don't get the fishing rod. I'm not going to get a fish, but you never know. What you do is don't forget the rubbish bags. Camp anywhere. There's campsites along the way. Keep your rubbish, put it in a bag, 